Hey guys, I want to thank you so much for the opportunity to come out to your beautiful home here. I'm going to carry you up on the roof so that we can uh, look at a couple things together and kind of show you what's going on up here. So we can tell immediately that these shingles are very weathered and brittle, um, way, way past their useful life. But um, you can see here holes in the shingles. This is actually an exposed nail that's probably been there for quite some time as it's already rusted out. Um, this ridge vent is literally lifted up. You can see the nails backed out. And these ridge vents are very old news. We actually use a much better, more functional vent, but you can see just how weathered and worn these shingles truly are. Um, moving on over, you can see that this flat room over your daughter's bedroom is a, or excuse me, this flat roof over your daughter's bedroom, boy, I'm out of shape, is a tar and gravel roof. So essentially this is a bed of tar with pea gravel over the top which acts as sunscreen for the asphalt and it is definitely time to cover this up. What I propose we do is put an insulation board down over the top and put a single ply membrane, terminate over the edge, terminate over the edge, run it wild up under the transition before installing shingles over. And that's going to make this a solid monolithic surface with insulation to keep this room from getting hot as I'm sure it gets hot in there. And we actually use a much better ridge vent than this. We're gonna go from gable end to gable end, gable end to gable end. Anywhere there's a ridge line, we're gonna absolutely put a vent. We're going to do away with this old flashing, reflash this entire chimney. Plumbing boot that's been torn up by squirrels right there. Plumbing boot here. We'll talk about this skylight. But this old valley metal, we don't even use that anymore. We'll replace that with a new self-adhered peel and seal underlayment and then install shingles solid all the way across. I do want to point out though that there are some issues and cracks going on with your cement cap and also in the mortar joints you can see here that's absolutely going down into the interior hopefully you can see that okay um, and more illustration of just how worn out these shingles are I'm pretty confident that your leak that you're having in the hallway coming out of that fixture is related to this hole right here it's almost right in line so this would be there's about a maybe a one foot to 16 inch overhang and then your daughter's door is going to be somewhere right over here which puts us a few feet back right in line with that fixture so i'm going to go get something out of the truck to fix this up for you so no more water gets through and i'm also confident in telling you that that plumbing boot that has absolutely been torn up by squirrels just like i suspected is definitely letting water in um, it is covered though however so Water has to be coming at a certain angle, driving by the wind, driven by the wind, to do anything there, but um, it's definitely a problem. So I just wanna carry you over to the other side of this chimney to show you these cracks. So these mortar joints, I mean, that's a good probably eighth of an inch void all the way down. Um, that's real bad, and it actually comes out to almost a quarter inch here so hopefully you can see that and it absolutely needs to be fixed because again in a driving wind and rain water's absolutely wicking up in there and ultimately getting on the interior so hopefully this video was helpful and i look forward to getting you guys a proposal put together thanks so much for your time